Inspiration. Welcome my friends to Inspiration. I'm glad for the support to my channel Pehos Palace. I often get questions how I come up with ideas to write songs and what inspires me. I will analyze some I've wrote to help others who's stuck and for all of you beginners out there who wants to write. It's so nice to read your wonderful comments, I appreciate it. I have my style when I write, as I explain in my videos, you can do it, something is better than nothing, and thoughts. For some reason I find it easier to write sad songs, I love them, and I'm a huge fan of Towns Van Sant. I don't set out to write them, but lately, as you might notice, my songs are happier. As an artist, it's up to you if you want to explain your work. There is no need for that, because many times it's so clear. I was surprised when I read a comment not too long ago. He wrote, It takes a lot of strength to carry my heavy soul. So for that reason I feel I have to explain my work. A person who writes like that must be filled with agony. Otherwise, why should he care what I write? It was probably too close and personal. That's why he reacted the way he did. I'm not a sad person. I love life. But when I write dark tunes and sing them, why should I laugh? I don't understand that. People think sometimes they know me just by listening to the words of my songs, but that is not me at all. The late great Dennis Hopper often portrayed psychopath in his movies. Does that make him a weirdo in real life? Christopher Walken is famous for those roles, like so many other great artists. For me it's important to create emotions. I throw away much I write. There is a lot of hard work behind it, but it's also fun to create and come up with stories. When I first started to write, I found inspiration from looking at pictures. I don't do that so often now, but try it, maybe it works for you. My inspiration lately has been from what's around me. Uh, people who's whispering, negative vibes, people who has a bad aura around them, I hate it. It's what I see around me, falseness. If you have an open mind, you see it, and to me it's worse now than it was before. It's not necessarily about me, but I see people ruled and not happy anymore. That affects me. But I have my valve, and that is to write, and sometimes I can feel that I have so much inside me, and that fills me up with joy, because I love what I do, and I wish that my hobby was my full-time job. Therefore many of my songs are dark and depressing because that is the life of so many people. I'm happy as long as I write, find something that makes you smile because the world is a dark and cold place. Being a songwriter it gives me so much back and I truly appreciate your lovely comments. We all play our parts in life, we are all actors. They feel satisfied when they're up there on the stage and to us who is not professional, feel comfortable when we do the things we love. That gives us strength to do other things we might hate. It expects more from us. Time is money and more people face that famous wall. I have a friend I thought of when I wrote The Day Shines With Its Darkness, but when I was finished I realized it was very deep. But that is his life and not mine. But I captured a feeling and in a song I wrote it from my perspective. The day shines with its darkness, I'm still looking to find a light. I see things so much brighter every time I close my eyes. The day shines with its darkness and it just won't let me be. I've tried many times to ignore it, but the darkness is a part of me. The day shines with its darkness, it's so dark that I can't see anything. At night I'm free but then I sleep and then the darkness disappears. That song says so much. But it's not detailed, it leaves us room to think and I probably wouldn't write it if it wasn't for my friend. I pick up things that is around me, things I see, people I meet. Therefore it's strange that people judge me for the lyrics to my songs. That is my story. It isn't my story I write all the time. Sometimes it is of course and sometimes it feels good to get that off your chest. I like the day shines with its darkness because it's not too detailed. I think of something when I hear it and other can hear something else. I've written a song called Pretty Butterfly and it's about a man who's alone. In some way it's detailed but at the same time it's not. It captures loneliness. Butterfly spread your wings and fly away. 
If I were you, that's what I do, pretty butterfly. Butterfly, you're so lovely with your golden wings. You are free and that I ain't, pretty butterfly. Butterfly, if I could live my life again, I should do it, I wouldn't hesitate, pretty butterfly. He sees the butterfly and he has a conversation with it and he somehow wants to be free as the butterfly and he wished that he could live his life again. When I hear it, I can see a man sitting in a dark room and the only light comes from the window. Butterfly, it's mighty kind of you to visit me. Every day you come by here, pretty butterfly. To that lonely man, the image of the butterfly could be so strong that he thinks it visits him every day. Butterfly, spread your wings, take to the sky. I'll be here when the world collides, pretty butterfly. Butterfly, there's nothing new under the sky. We live our empty lives and then we die, pretty butterfly. I like to analyze my songs, maybe because I'm a deep person. Anyway, that's what I've been told. If you are a beginner, listen to other songwriters you admire. Remember, they were beginners too once. Most important, find time to write. Five minutes a day is not enough. Try to find your own style and not copy others. I'm not an expert, but I've been doing this a while and maybe you find something that you can use. I love hearing original songs, and if you love it too, please subscribe to my channel. All the best, Pihot.